today let us discuss about some problems on electric potential and the capacitors first is problems on potential electric potential the first problem two charges 5 into 10 raised to minus 9 uh, 8 coulomb and uh, minus 3 into 10 raised to minus 8 coulomb are located 16 centimeter apart here yeah, two charges are given their charge value is given and they are separated by distance of 16 centimeter at what point on the line joining the two charges is the electric potential zero take the potential at infinity to be zero so same problem we solved in first chapter at what point on the line joining the two charges electric field is zero here it is at what point on the line joining the two charges the electric potential is zero First right on the given two charges Q1 given 5 into 10 raised to minus 8 coulomb and Q2 minus 3 into 10 raised to minus 8 coulomb and they are separated by distance of 16 centimeter at what point on the line joining the two charges the electric potential is either x let x be the distance of the point from the charge given at which the net electric potential is z let x be the distance of a point from q1 at which the net potential is g that potential is z that is therefore v is equal to electric potential at a point x like this these are the two charges q1 and q2 separated by distance r so here is the point x not a midpoint they don't see more at a distance x from q1 at which resultant potential is 0 so potential at O due to q1 and q2 v is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught v is equal to v1 plus v2 v equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon q1 divided by x plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon into q2 divided by r minus x given v is 0 that potential v equals to 0 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught take it common into bracket q1 is 5 into 10 raised to minus 8 divided by x q2 is negative with a minus 3 into 10 raised to minus 8 divided by 16 minus x cross multiply with 0 at the time. 0 is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 8 by x minus 3 into 10 raised to minus 8 by 16 minus 6. Let us set the 3 into 10 raised to minus 8 by 
plus 2 minus 8 divided by 16 minus x is equal to 5 into 10 plus 2 minus 8 divided by x. Cross multiply. x divided by 16 minus x is equal to 5 into 10 plus 2 minus 8 divided by 3 into 10 plus 2 minus 8. 10 raised to minus 8 it cancels. Cross multiply here. 3x is equal to 5 into 16. With t minus 5x. Cross multiply here. 3x plus 5x is equal to 80. Therefore, x is equal to 80 divided by 8. 3x plus 5x is 8x is equal to 10. At a distance from of 10 cm from Q1, the net potential due to system of these two charges on the line drawing the two charges is Z. Okay. X value minus one. Q1 and Q2 are given, distance between two charges are given. They ask them at what point on the line joining the two charges, the potential is the Z. Take that point is at a distance x from the Q1 at which the net potential is the 0. Find out that x value. So electric potential is the scalar quantity, simply arithmetic addition mantra. This is V1. Is a V2 V1 is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 by x plus V2 is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q2 by R minus x. Here V given that is 0, that potential is 0. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is taken down into bracket. Q1 is 5 into 10 raised to minus 8 by x minus of Q because Q is a negative. Minus 3 into 10 raised to minus 8 divided by R into 16 minus x. Cross multiply money with 0 at the time. 0 equals to 5 into 10 raised to minus 8 by x minus 3 into 10 raised to minus 8 divided by 16 minus x. So again take this to left side becomes positive. 3 into 10 raised to minus 8 divided by 16 minus x is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 8 by x. Again, cross multiply. x divided by, x divided by, x divided by 16 minus x is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 8 divided by 3 into 10 raised to minus 8. 10 raised to minus 8 it cancels. Next, again, cross multiply. 3 into x is equal to 16 pi is minus 5 into x. 5x equal to 6 to 3 x plus 5x is equal to 18 means 8x is equal to 18. 8x is equal to 18. Therefore, x is equal to 18 divided by 8 equals to 10 centimeters. Two tiny spheres carrying charges plus 1.5 microcoulomb and plus 2.5 microcoulomb are located 30 cm apart. Find the electric potential. First one at the midpoint on the line joining the two charges and a B at a point 10 cm from the 2.5 microcoulomb charge on the line joining to the charge. Q1 charge on first sphere is given plus 1.5 microcoulomb. Q2 
प्लस टू पॉइंट फाइव माइक्रोफोनल माइक्रोमीन टेन रेस टू माइनस सिक्स आर लोकेटेड थर्टी सेंटीमीटर अपार्ट आर इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सेंटीमीटर दिस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री रेस्ट एसआई फाइंड द इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल टू पॉइंट्स और ये एक मिल पॉइंट एक मिल पॉइंट सो बी जी फोर टू वन डिवाइडेड बाय फोर पाइ एक्सलेंट नॉट इनटू ओके Q1 divided by R by 2 plus Q2 divided by R by R by 2 is made by. Right? It has spheres of the mass, charge spheres. E point is electric potential five of one. The total distance R by 2 is made by distance R by 2 in Q1 Q. So V equals to V1 plus V. V1 is potential due to Q1. V2 is potential due to Q. So V equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon comma. Take it comma. Into bracket Q1 divided by R by 2 plus Q2 divided by R by 2 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught value is 9 into 10 raised to 9. Into bracket Q1 is 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 6 divided by micro L 10 raised to minus 6 divided by R by 2 uh, 0.15.3 half 0.1 plus Q2 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 6 Divided by 0.15. Okay. 9 into 10 raised to 9. Into bracket 0.15. 1.5 mark to 10 raised to minus 1. Answer like that. Answer like that. 1 into 10 raised to no 0. Thank you. 
will take my point a to nine into a base two four four. This is at midpoint. Electric potential at the midpoint between the lines are in the two charges. It is the electric potential at a point at a distance 10 cm from 2.5 microcoulomb. In the this is 25.89 into 10 raised to 4 volt. Third point. Point charges of plus 4.5 into 10 raised to minus 10 coulomb and minus 4.5 into 10 raised to minus 10 coulomb are placed at the corners A and B respectively of a, an equilateral triangle ABC of side 1 meter. Calculate the electric potential at the corner C. Here two charges are given. Q1 is plus 4.5 into 10 raise to minus 10 coulomb and q2 is equal to minus 4.5 into 10 raise to minus 10 coulomb they are placed at the corners a and b of an equilateral triangle of size 1 meter ABC is an equilateral triangle. The charge Q1 is placed at point B. Q2 is placed side into 1 meter. That is AB is equal to BC is equal to AC is equal to 1 meter. Find the electric potential at point B. Previous chapter, the electric field monitor of the direction and magnitude of the fiber point is electric field to answer the result of the using the rules. This is simply a potential scale of automatic emission one. So, you know, electric potential at C due to Q1 1 for it, or B1 1 for it. Electric potential at C due to Q2 that is B2. Then B equals to B1 plus B2. In the model, individual B1 and B2 find out mark for the B equals to B1 plus B2 on the model. Or direct type, B equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, typical term into bracket Q1 divided by AC plus into divided by this is equal to 9 into 10 raised to 9 into bracket q1 is 4.5 into 10 raised to minus 10 divided by AC is 1 meter q2 is negative therefore minus 4.5 into 10 raised to minus 10 divided by dc is also 1 is equal to 9 into 10 raised to 9 into bracket it is 4.5 into 10 raised to minus 10 minus 4.5 into 10 raised to minus 10 it is 0 net potential is 0 so equilateral triangle under this point is point on the equatorial line of a dipole of Q1 Q2 are same magnitude but the opposite in nature. Therefore, so this is an electric dipole. C point is a point on equatorial line. Therefore, at equatorial line, electric potential is zero. This is the
exceeding force point. EPCD is the square of size 0.2 meter. Point charges of plus 6 nanocoulomb, plus 12 nanocoulomb, plus 24 nanocoulomb are placed at the corners A, B, and C respectively. Calculate the potential difference between corner D and the center of the square. Same triangle group, square problem, first chapter number one equal electric field and force multiply potential. Confuse one for better. Field tender E equals to mantra, force square F is equal to product of two charges per tender. Then potential tender D equals to divided by charge by distance. And then uh, field tender charge by distance. Force mantra, product of two charges divided by distance. Per. Here U1 is equal to. 6 plus 6 nanocoulomb u2 is equal to plus 1 nanocoulomb nano means 10 raised to minus 9 u2 is equal to plus 24 nanocoulomb ok see size point to me kd is equal to DC is equal to CD equals to DA equals to 0.2 meter. Okay. Distance of center from each curve. AC is equal to BD equals to AD square plus BC square is equal to root of AD 0.2. Point 0.2 point square is 0 0.04 plus 0 0.04. Is equal to zero point zero eight. Is equal to point two eight two eight. Q1 is 
Now, find the potential difference between point D and the center of this point. Potential difference D is equal to DO minus VD. That is equal to DO. 2673.26 minus 1731.87 is equal to 2673.26 minus 17 So this is the potential difference between the point D and the center of the square. Name of the square drawn of the charges given place in their position. First find out the diagonal distance. Then find out the distance of the center from each corner. Another way. Then find out the potential at O. Potential at O is Due to Q1, Q2 and Q3. That is potential at O is VO is equal to 1 by 4 pi so not common taken out into bracket. Charge Q1 divided by this distance AO plus charge Q2 divided by distance DO plus charge Q3 divided by distance C. Value substitute one for it. Simplify my We get 2673.26 volt. Let me potential at O. Similarly, find out the potential at a B. B D is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is taken from into bracket. Charge Q1 divided by this distance AD plus charge Q2 divided by this distance BD plus charge Q3 divided by distance C D. Substitute values 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught value 9 into 10 raised to 9. Remaining substitute module simplified by the get potential at D is 1731.87 volt. Then potential difference between the center of this square and corner D is potential at O is 2673.26 minus potential at D is 1731.87. Difference is 931.39. A point charge of 20 microcoulomb is situated at a point O. A and B are the points 0 0.05 meter and 0 0.15 meter away from this charge. If only one charge is at 20 microcoulomb that is placed at a O. Two more points are there. One is at 0 0.05 meter and another is at 0 0.15 meter away from this charge means from O. Find the potential at A and B. A is the B is potential find out what will. Also find the work done. To move a point charge of 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb from B to A. Take 
freedom q1 uh, q only one charge 20 micro coulomb then we zero point zero five meter v zero point one five meter final potential at a and b final potential at a and potential at b and a freedom discharge at capital Another charge, take it as small q, it is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb is moved from point B to point A, find out work done. Work done to move a charge from B to A. Fine. I am not going to do this. This is O. Charge is Q. Here A and B are two points. Here B are two points. So here charge Q is placed at B. It is moved from A. B to A, find out work done. First, find out the potential at A. B A. Potential at A is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q divided by O A. Due to this charge, find out potential at A is equal to Nine into ten raised to nine into Q twenty minus two twenty into ten raised to minus six divided by O A zero point zero five. This can be written as one eighty into ten raised to three. Divided by 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 1 sir, 5 3 sir, 150 5 5 6 sir. It is 36 into 10 raised to 5. Good. 10 raised to minus 2 numerate to the plus 2 are the 3 plus 2 5 36 into 10 raised to 5 volt potential at A similarly potential at B V B is equal to 1 by 2 pi epsilon naught into 2 divided by O B is equal to 9 into 10 raised to 9 into QB is again uh, 20 into 10 raised to minus 6 divided by OB 0 0.15 1.15 into 10 raised to minus 9.15 into 10 raised to 3 180 into 10 raised to 3, 9 minus 6 divided by this can be written as 15 into 10 raised to minus 2 is equal to 180 by 15. Well, well, into 10 raised to 5 
Now find out the potential difference. Potential difference B equals to B A minus B B is equal to thirty six into ten raised to five minus twelve into ten raised to five is equal to Ninety four into ten raised to five volt. Ninety four into ten raised to five volt. This is potential difference between point A and B. Now, what is required? What is done? to Q from D to A that is W B A is equal to potential difference B into charge to be moved B into K that is equal to B into 24 into 10 raised to 5 into potential difference into charge to be moved is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 90 which is equal to EBCD is a square of strength 0 0.2 meter charges of minus 2 into 10 raise to minus 9 coulomb 4 into 10 raise to minus 9 coulomb and 12 into 10 raise to minus 9 coulomb are placed at corners A, B and C respectively. Calculate the work required to transfer a charge of 4 into 10 raise to minus 9 coulomb from D to the center of the square. So, I will the same one. So, Q1 minus 2 into 10 raised to minus 9 to Q2 4 into 10 raised to minus 9 to Q3 12 into 10 raised to minus 9 to Here 3 charges are here. Okay. Then Fourth charge is Q that is placed at D. It is 4 into 10 raised to minus 9. Four from D to centro. Again, AD is equal to BC 
is equal to C B equals to B A equals to zero point two. Okay, now for the same problem, so different. A B C. Nine into ten raised to nine into bracket 
Now find out the potential difference between potential difference V equals to V O minus V B is equal to eight ninety one point zero eight nine minus five seventy seven point two six is equal to Potential difference eight ninety one point zero eight nine minus five seventy seven point two six three one three point eight two nine. This potential difference between Carla D and the center of this part. Now find out the work done to move a point charge. So work done to move a charge of 4 into 10 raised to minus 9 coulomb from B to O. Work done to move charge Q. From B to O is W B to O is equal to potential difference B into charge. That is three one three point eight two nine into four into ten raised to minus nine is equal to. One two five five point three one six into ten raised to minus nine. Just this is the what then to move a charge from B to O. First of potential at O find out mark poly potential at B find out mark poly. Then find out the potential difference B O minus B B. 
then what does the moon discharge q from d to o is potential difference into charge to be moved now charge moment la involvement is equal to 1255.316 into 10 raised to minus 9 jump okay stop here okay